Tammy is the epitome of like mom, like who every mom wants to be, who I want to be as a mom. You're such this like picture of childlikeness and creativity and this mother and wife who just creates magic in your home. And you have two incredible boys. So what was it that started your journey in wanting a third child? I mean, I don't know if I can say this on the show, but but the first thing that started, actually, I'll I'll go back or rewind a little bit. A few years ago, my husband and I had the opportunity to potentially adopt a little girl. Mm. And we had never talked about that before, but it got placed on both of our hearts and opportunity came about where we were going to adopt a little girl and it ended up falling through the last minute. And I tape my youngest was only like a year old at the time. Yeah. So we're like, okay, if this is going to happen and this is God, what God wants us to do, yeah. then that's fine. Well, we, I think that child that we did not receive opened our hearts to the opportunity of maybe one day having another kid. And then quarantine happened and we all had a lot of alone times with our husband. <laughs> <laughs> and I had the surprise that I was pregnant. Yeah. And I was so excited. I was, like, surprised, but excited for that child. Mm-hmm. And then, as, like, so many women have experienced, uh, I was very, had horrible morning sickness. We went through all the phases. We finally had told our children. And then I went in at 13 weeks, and there was no heartbeat. Um, yeah. Yeah, I remember that day. And you were alone that day, because this was during COVID. Yeah, I think... Um, COVID's kind of cruel that way because so many people, just regardless of what situation, they could just be going to have surgery or we had a friend whose mother had a stroke. You have to go yeah. through it alone. You can't be there to handhold. And I remember I sat in the parking lot for like, it was probably two hours before I could drive. Yeah. Then again, I got pregnant. I actually found out I was pregnant again on the... We'll breathe through this on the would be birthday of the child we lost. Yeah. And it was such a sign of hope. Because I yeah. think that first time I lost myself, you talked about me being a was like magical mommy. And I feel like I lost the gift of being a mom. Right. Because I lost the joy in it. Because I think I was going through postpartum depression, which is something I don't think people think about with loss of like a miscarriage is you don't realize you go, your body goes through the same changes that it does when you've given birth. Yeah. But it's cruel because you go to a hospital and you leave without the child. Right. But your body still has to process that change. Yeah. yeah. Um, so when I was pregnant again, it was very symbolic. I remember yeah. <laughs> we went to the park with our little boys and there were literal rainbows. I was taking pictures of the kids and I was like, this is such a sign. Like, yeah. okay, we've been through the hardest part and now we have this child. And I think I've told you I was going to name her Iris, which is yeah. very symbolic of like a rainbow being from heaven to earth. And that is actually like a Greek. You said that's a Greek goddess's name, right? That yeah. actually symbolizes, symbolizes a rainbow. Symbolizes a rainbow. So I was like, you know, that, and I, I do still think that she was our little rainbow baby. Um, we waited this time. We waited until the 12 week appointment. We waited until they did all the genetic tests. We waited yeah. as long as possible until we got the final okay that like everything was perfect. We were having a little girl. We told our little boys. They were so excited. And then a week later, the same thing, but this time my husband was with me. Um, Thank goodness. And I just remember being like numb, like just confused. And I, yeah. you asked me, like, did you get like angry at God? And I remember making a very conscious choice with both losses that I have a loved one who lost a child. And ever since then, they have carried this anger and resentment and distanced themselves from God. And I refused to do that with both occasions where I, I didn't get mad at God because I, I don't think that God brings death. I yeah. think that death is because we live in a sinful world. I don't think God has to take away a child to teach us a lesson when people will be like, oh, you know, it happened, but it's for a reason. It's not for a reason. It's cruel and it's horrible. Yeah. It's, it's terrible. Right. But I also think that what the beauty of God is that he strengthens us through it. He's not going to have to hurt us to teach us something, but when we're hurting, he's there to carry us through it. And that's Mm -hmm. where we get strengthened. Mm -hmm.